The year is 43 AD, the Roman conquest of Britain is underway. After the Romans' victory at the Battle of Medway in the same year, the two British commanders, Coraticus and Togomus, are retreating along the Thames River towards the capital of their tribe, Camuloduna, aka modern-day Colchester near Essex. The brothers' goal now is to try and wear down the advancing Roman army while the Romans were in pursuit of them. Knowing this, the two brothers plan small-scale attacks and harassment strategies hoping to wear down the Romans before reinforcements could reach them. However, what the brothers didn't know was news of the Roman victory at Medway had already reached the Emperor Claudius, who himself was on his way towards Britain with siege equipment and even war elephants, according to some sources. The main Roman army pushed further into Essex, which at this point in history was mostly boggy terrain and marshes. And as the Romans wore heavy armour, and as well as carrying their own equipment, this made them easy targets for the lightly armoured Britons. However, we know the Romans lost some men crossing the boggy train, but we don't have an exact figure. At some point, the main Roman army split into two groups, one part led by the Roman general Vespasian, who headed southwest from the Thames, to deal with a British stronghold called Maiden Castle. However, the name is misleading as it's not a castle, rather a set of raised earthworks similar to a giant maze. The second army led by Alias Plautius, the main commander of the invasion, carried on up northwards along the Thames before reaching a river crossing, which would enable the Romans to march straight towards Colchester. Whether there was an existing bridge there, or if the Romans built one, is unknown. At this point, Togomus attacked the Romans. However, we have little information on this battle, as I believe it was a skirmish rather than a set battle, as there is little account of what happened. What we do know is that at some point during the skirmish, Togomus was killed. Now with one of the main resistance leaders dead, the path to Camulodunum was clear for the Romans. Yet at some point, Plautius received orders from the Emperor Claudius to halt his march and build defensive fortifications along the Thames, which resulted in the creation of Londinium. Now, moving forward to late summer of 43 AD, the Roman reinforcements led by Claudius had reached the position of Plautius's troops Along his route towards the Roman encampment, Claudius allegedly received the submission of several chiefdoms and tribes, thus securing more of southern Britain for the Roman Empire. Vespasian was still in the south, securing and subjugating various British tribes. With both armies now formed into one, the Romans soon reached Colchester, and not long after that besieged the city. The city itself was built around several defensive earthworks with ditches and several gates around the city. It also had a natural defense as the river Colne traversed around the north and east side of the city. A formidable city to besiege, any normal army would struggle to take this city, yet the Romans are skilled practitioners of siege warfare. Now, we don't have much information at all about how the siege went. All we know is it was a success. However, we will try and piece together what happened based on the little scraps of information we have, as well as our own theory of how the siege went. So, to begin with, let's look at the Roman numbers. Based off the Battle of Medway and the reinforcements Claudius brought, we will estimate that the Romans had around 50,000 to 55,000, including war elephants and artillery. The British troops led by Caraticus were minimal compared to the Romans. Our 
I would estimate that Caraticus commanded no more than 5,000 men. The reasons for this are the fact that the Romans' victory at the Battle of Medway was total, as many British troops died, whereas the Romans lost hardly any men. Another reason would be the fact that the local Britons had never seen war elephants or siege equipment of this scale, and would be rightly intimidated and forced into submission upon seeing these constructs. And the third reason would be the death of Togomus. His death would have dealt a severe morale blow to any resisting Britons, as he was one of the leading figureheads of the resistance. The siege itself wasn't very long. As soon as the Romans had set up their siege equipment and formed their battle lines, the assault began. The Romans, wanting to conquer and turn Colchester into their main settlement in Britain, wouldn't have used their siege artillery to completely bombard the city, rather just assault the gatehouses and any enemy positions, while the war elephants would just be used as an intimidation tactic instead of risking the animals running amok in the city or charging into the Romans lines. With the gatehouse destroyed and the city open to the Romans, Caraticus fled with his family and headed towards Wales to gather another army to oppose the Romans and continue his resistance. Most of the defending Britons scattered knowing their commander had fled the city and surrendered without a fight as they had no chance of defeating the Romans. With the Romans' new settlement in place, Romanization gradually turned Camulodunum into a thriving Roman city called Colonial Victricinus, with a permanent legionnaire's fortress until the wrath of Boudicca reached the city. Emperor Claudius soon departed Britain and headed back to Rome to plan his triumph, as this campaign was the tool he needed to strengthen his grip on the throne. Allus Plautius became the first governor of the newly established province of Britain. Vespasian would continue to subjugate more tribes for a few more years before returning to Rome to become consul, and eventually becoming emperor after the year of the four emperors, but that is a tale for another day. And finally, Caraticus would continue to oppose Roman rule for the next few years, before meeting the Romans at the Battle of Caer Caradoc, which will be the next battle we'll cover 